In this video, we will set up and build the Chromium open source repo on our computer. All the detailed directions are located on chromium.googlesource.com, but this video, I will go over the minimum steps you need to do to get a simple build compiled. This page is linked in the bio, so let's start with the requirements before attempting to build. We need to have Visual Studio, Depot tools, and our environment variables set up first. As you can see right now, this page is gonna go over how to set up the Visual Studio and your Depot tools and your environment variables. So I'm gonna summarize this for you so it's easier to follow along. First up is Visual Studio. Install Visual Studio as normal. You can get Visual Studio at visualstudio.microsoft.com. If you're just a personal user, I would just get the personal community version, which can be found in the download section. After you download it, just follow the steps and for Chromium, you have to make sure you have some dependencies checked when you install it. If you already have Visual Studio installed, you can also check for the dependencies by going into your installed apps. You want to make sure that you have the desktop development with C++ checked and that it includes MFC slash ATL support, which as you can see here, I have the ATL support checked. You also want to check that you have Windows 11 SDK, which you can see in the individual components all the way at the bottom. And remember, these directions might change depending on new versions being released, so always check the Chromium website for any new updates on which versions they suggest. Lastly, we want to check that our SDK debugging tools are version 10. Those will actually be found under our Windows Software Development Kit in our installed apps. As you can see, we have the right version installed right here. Perfect, now let's install Depot Tools. The download's available on the website, so you just download the bundle, and you're just gonna wanna extract that to anywhere you want. I decided to extract it in my C folder, and I made a new folder called Source and a new folder called Depot Tools, and I extracted everything in there. Then you're going to want to make sure that your environment path knows where to get the depot tools. So in your environment variables, I updated my path to have the depot tools. And you have to make sure that it's above Python. Now, if you are not on your own computer and you can only update the user variables, you would just update the path for your user variable. Now, if your system variable has a path with Python and you can only change the path of your user variable, You'll probably have to contact your administrator because you can't have Python come before the depot tools. Depot tools needs to have priority. So as you can see, I added the C slash source slash depot tools folder that I made, which is where I extracted my depot tools. And then you're also going to want to add an entirely new variable called depot tools win tool chain and set it to zero. And that's it. You're done with the dependencies. So now we're going to get to the fetching of the code part. So this tutorial is going to assume you already have Git configured. If you need to, if you need help configuring Git, follow the instructions on the chromium.googlesource.com page shown here. Otherwise, all you have to do is make a folder on your desktop or wherever you want, and we're going to execute fetch chromium. So I created another folder called chromium repo, which I put in the same source folder that I put the depot tools in. And in here, we're simply going to fetch Chromium. Since I already fetched Chromium, I'm not going to actually run that because you can see I already have the source folder that gets populated after you fetch it. So after you're done fetching, which will take a very long time, so you might want to go do something else while it's fetching. It could take hours depending on how fast your computer is. After it's done fetching, just CD into that source folder. And this is basically the Chromium repo. So to compile and build, you're going to want to create a build directory, compile it, and then run your built browser. To create a build directory, use the command gn gen and the path of your output. I already made one, so we're going to make a second one just to show you how it works. I'm using a git bash terminal, which means I have to use forward slashes. In the Chromium directions, it uses backslashes, but I'm pretty sure it's assuming you're using like a command prompt. So just be careful if you get errors in your build later, it might be because you made the folders with the wrong slashes. So just keep that in mind. And then to compile, we simply run an auto ninja command. 
Same with this command as the last command, keep in mind the slashes. So this is gonna build the Chrome target. The default is the other build direct we made, but for the one I made in this tutorial, we would actually use this. So once you hit compile, this is gonna take a long time. This might even take longer than fetching it, but it should only take a long time the first time you build it. So I've been building with the capital D output directory. So if I build this now, it's going to build pretty quickly because most of the binaries are already built. Actually, it's not gonna build anything because I haven't changed anything. <laughs> so to prove that this is building what we're changing, why don't we go into the code and tweak something so that when we run it, we can see our changes there. Since we're building the Chrome target, we're gonna wanna look in the Chrome under the app folder for the files we wanna modify. And we're gonna edit the settings Chromium string file. And just where it says about Chromium, let's just put something so we know it's changed. Now let's build it with those changes. As you can see, that went really fast. So just remember, your first time you build this, it's gonna take hours. This is only fast because all the other things that are not dependent on that file we touched have already been built. So since we've already built it, let's run our built browser. And since we built with the Chrome target, we're gonna run the Chrome EXE. So a window like this should pop up and we can see our changes if we go into the settings. And we'll see about Kelsey's new Chromium right here. So I hope that helped you guys if you were having any trouble building Chromium and getting started with creating your own browser.